Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the Schnell from Barossa Valley, the 2010 Shiraz Grenache. And I'll just talk to you a little bit about it. On the back it says Schnell, Schnell, be quick. This is a ripe, voluptuous blend of Barossa, Shiraz and Grenache. The full, dense, spicy Shiraz is accentuated by juicy red fruit Grenache. Carefully nurtured in French and American oak barrels, the result is a really fine drink. This satisfying red is best drunk in the first few years of its life, to appreciate the wonderful fruit. A great food wine. Run, don't walk. Produced by Magpie Estate in uh, Sibbelsfield in South Australia. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, I thought um, a winemaker by the name of Rolf Binder had something to do with this, but I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, in any case, Magpie Estate, um, pretty cool. And uh, so I haven't actually done a blend that I can remember, perhaps I have. Uh, so this is a Shiraz Grenache, but I had uh, good recommendations by a wine expert about this one. So um, we're going to give it a try. Okay, so it does have, uh, it is dark like a Shiraz, but um, let's see, it's still got that lightness that comes with having that Grenache in it, but it is quite thick, and um, yeah, I'm curious about this one. Okay, let's have a look. Um, there may be some uh, sounds in the background. You might have heard um, uh, ambulance go past. You'll, you'll probably hear some voices. I just can't find the time to do this in a silent place. I'm sorry, so we're just going to have to do it now. Okay, you can smell a little bit of oak, but not much. It's quite a light. Definitely fruity. In fact, I think I need to leave this out a little bit. It's not ready yet. Um, so, uh, for the first time, let's pause this and come back to it. Yeah, hi guys. So as I was saying, I had to come back to it. I left it for another hour or so. Um, because sometimes a little bit of oxygen is going to uh, bring out the flavours that are hidden. Sometimes it's kind of like <laughs> a ball of string that's been string for a long time and you need to unravel it so a bit of oxygen to unravel the uh, flavors in that um, yeah now what I found is that the bouquet has got a bit stronger and uh, what else you can pick up some menthol and eucalyptus Slightly fruity, bit of pepper, um, but it's uh, it's quite mild, and I I'm, I usually find that um, mixing Shiraz and Grenache uh, does tend to give a a mild drink. So let's try again. Okay, that tastes a little better. Now. I'm not a Shiraz Grenache drinker. I do occasionally enjoy one, uh, because they're nice quaffers. But this one's uh, a little bit more complex than I've had before. And But there's a an interesting back flavour that... I'm not too sure whether it's the, the grapes or the fact that I had um, spicy Vietnamese rice, fried rice, combination of fried rice before this that's affecting this flavor um, it does say this is a great food wine so I'm guessing that um, this is this would probably be better with some some uh, like a steak or you know something beefy probably wouldn't have it with spicy sausages yeah um, but yeah it's enjoyable
So, anyway, that's the Chanel. Um, if you like Shiraz Grenache, you might want to give this a try. Um, yeah, I'll be drinking it tonight. Until next time.